Thank you. Uh, my name is Henry Mouton. I'm with the Rio Grande uh, Mexican Restaurant, and today I'm here to talk to you about our composting program in particular, but it's a larger part of our recycling program, or we like to call it uh, our Rio cycling program. So uh, the, the composting is actually a, a, a smaller part of the whole program, which is basically our, our efforts to manage our waste stream and divert as much uh, as possible out of the dump. This consists of our recycling program where we have a, a cardboard baler that we bale our uh, cardboard with, commingled recycling, then of course the composting, and uh, hopefully that we're minimizing uh, the trash that's going to the dump through this process. On the, le on the left there is our uh, cardboard recycler and uh, on, uh, our baler, and on the right is our composting bins. They're all outside the restaurant in the back there. In addition to that, we have three three yard uh, recycling bins for commingled and then an eight yard uh, trash dumpster. So uh, we began composting back in 2006. Uh, we started with uh, pre-consumer, which is basically scraps from our kitchen. You know, uh, restaurants offer great opportunity because there's so much organic waste that we produce. Uh, we started out with the kitchen just uh, from the prep, uh, the, the food scraps and, and uh, towels from the, from the kitchen. Uh, at that time, we had three 50-gallon bins in the back, and we, uh, we, would, we had them picked up three times per week. So uh, the, the large issue that we had was contamination. Uh, we're a fast-paced environment and, and, uh, and uh, just making sure that we're not contaminating the, the compost that's, that's going uh, to the, uh, that we're sending off was the issue. The way that we solved it was with education and involvement of our staff. Uh, and uh, we had a much smaller uh, control group. There was only 30 employees in the kitchen that we had to deal with, so uh, this, this made it uh, pretty effective. Um, steps to behavioral change. Uh, first, we, uh, we had color-coded bins. We used gray bins for recycling. Uh, the, the composting bins are blue, marked as such, and then we have black uh, bins for the trash. Uh, then education, basically through our many meetings every day, we talk to uh, our staff about the, the process, the procedure, uh, how to sort and how to make sure the right, uh, 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 the, the right things get in the right place, and then signage around the restaurant. And this was, uh, we actually created signs and put examples of, of what could be recycled on the signs for the staff and just kind of drove into them, again, uh, the sorting process. Uh, so we started, at this point, we're composting about uh, 3,200 pounds of organic waste uh, per month. Um, John Anderson, known as the Worm Man, is who we were working with at this time. He handled all the material himself. He turned it. His process involved using worms to decompose. Uh, and so uh, the volume was just overwhelming for him because of this. Um, and contamination, particularly, even with our improved efforts to, to, uh, to avoid contamination, it was still too much for them. So we uh, switched over to Waste Knot uh, recycling. Uh, with Waste Knot, they used one large bin in the back. It was two to two and a half yard bin. They picked it up once a week. Uh, and they actually uh, processed at A1 Organics, which is a commercial composter out of Greeley. Uh, and uh, th their process was much more uh, it worked a lot better with the contamination levels that we dealt with as far as the things. Uh, out of the kitchen, there were rubber gloves, latex gloves, uh, plastic film, and aluminum foil were the three things that largely were causing that contamination. Uh, at this time, we were around 3,500 pounds uh, per month uh, uh, of composting. So uh, at that point, because the larger bins and the, how often the pickups were, we, we had to deal with uh, the smell of the compost, particularly in the summer months when our patio was open, was a problem. So we then looked to clean air composting. Uh, we went back to the smaller bins, which were 65-gallon bins. There was three of them, and we were getting picked up twice a week at that time. Uh, uh, by the time, uh, currently, we're, we're up to eight bins twice a week. Ooh, uh, this process at A1 Organics. So we basically expanded the program to post-consumer, which means that we were using all the, scrap, all the, uh, the scraps out of the kitchen. Uh, we had a larger control group of 115 employees. Again, we used the same procedures to get them in line. We went from 3,500 pounds per month to, eight, over, to eight, almost 18,000 pounds of compost in the month of December of 2009. So we really uh, 
uh, uh, you know, had a lot of diversion at that point. We cut our trash to the dump by 30% or cubic 30 yards uh, when we went to uh, post-consumer. Overall recycling program, uh, cardboard recycling, 4,000 pounds per month, commingled about 36 yards per month, and uh, compost, 18,000 pounds per month. Uh, that leaves us uh, 40, uh, 40 cubic yards per month uh, of trash. Uh, we're, but we're, we estimate that we're diverting 240 uh, cubic yards per month out of the dump, and that's about 85% of, 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 the, of the waste stream. In summary, our successes, we're diverting 18,000 pounds from, from the dump. Uh, the education and involvement of the staff was really a crucial part of this. And we feel like we're an example for the community to show that this is possible. Uh, the challenges, uh, cleanliness, placement of the bins, spillage during transfer and the smell in the summertime, uh, and uh, changing the behavior of our employees. Cost is an issue. It, it, it is hard to, to uh, while we were diverting a large portion of, of our, our trash to the dump, working with the, the trash company to actually change our service and, and recognize uh, the, that those savings has been somewhat of a challenge. Our goals is to engage our customers in this process, uh, start recycling the, 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 uh, the paper out of the bathrooms, for example, uh, to get them involved, uh, building an overall ethic into our staff through training and look at purchasing so we, we can get even closer to 95% to, uh, diversion if we can get some uh, more sustainable products uh, that we use uh, uh, in the restaurant. So, uh, Eric Weisenhunt is actually our kitchen manager in Fort Collins, and he's the one who championed this uh, program. Uh, that's his uh, information. And then our composting partners were the Worm Man, uh, Waste Not Recycling, and Cleaner Compost. Uh, waste management uh, is where we got our cardboard baler. Thank you. Great. <laughs>